from World of Concrete 2016. I'd like you to meet now Murray Lodge, who's Senior Vice President and General Manager of Construction for Topcon. Welcome yes. aboard. Well, thank you so much. Nice to see you. Very nice How's to see you. How's the show for you and your company? Very exciting. Really? Yeah, we've had a good turnout. Well, you've got a couple of things to bring to the show floor this year. Give us an idea of what you're talking about. We have a couple of really revolutionary products that we're introducing here at this show. Uh, one of them is what we call 3DMC Max. Okay. We've previously had 3D systems for dozers. All right. Yes, you but with this, that. Right. with this new technology, we allows us to maximize the speed, maximize the control, and maximize the overall performance on a dozer. Really? Yeah. And that's all through your software process? Uh, software and hardware. hardware what we've too. done is what we're is now... the hardware part? The hardware part is actually implementing IMUs. Okay. And not just one. We've had single IMU technology. All right. But now we're implementing dual IMU technology. Ah. One on the blade, one on the body. Okay. So it does two things for us. One, it allows us to take the GPS, the antennas, and the mast off the blade. Okay, and the body will cover what was previously handled with the blade? Yeah, so before when you had GPS, that gave you position sure. information. Sure. But you had a mast out there that was in vulnerable area. Right. It could get damaged, you had cables that could break. Yeah. Now you take those antennas off and you put them on top of the cab. With the IMU, we're now controlling the elevation and the slope, but we're also, by using two of them, we're comparing the blade to the cab. Right. So it's much more robust, no matter if the, uh, the dozer's going forward, backwards, or side to side. I could say you're probably losing a lot of the maintenance issues you had before with the cabling and all of that other exactly. uh, associated hardware. Exactly. And safety yeah. for people having to climb up and on uh, down from the blade every day. Sure. Snow, slip, sure. or whatever sure. else. Exactly. exactly. Well, interesting. You also have a new resurfacing process that I understand, and I intrigued about what you're bringing for that. Today there are so many roads that need to be repaired. Right? <laughs> I get the number one yeah. concern. <laughs> are we not? And That's then, why we have a new highway bill, is it not? It's so true. <laughs> yeah. And the problem is, is, how do you know what the existing road looks like today? You can't, you know, in most situations, you can't close the road down and go off and use traditional survey methods to determine that. Right, right. What we've developed is ability to go through and scan that road surface at highway speeds. Ah, uh, as a basically a mobile device or something that would be uh, attached to a vehicle, what, uh, permanently or no, mobile just, just, or? Just, it just with brackets attaches to a pickup or a vehicle, very lightweight. You may go through, map that surface, and then you can take the unit off. And it's going to map it in ways that are uh, how compact it is, its depth, uh, what else, uh, breakage? Actually what it does uh, is just maps what the existing surface looks like today. So I know what all the elevations are. All right. When I, and I capture, capture a lot of points. Instead of capturing points where it used to be a traditional survey, maybe sure. every 50 feet, sure. now I'm getting them every inch, every six inches. <laughs> really? And all the way across the road. Then what you're able to do with that is, once I have a map of what the existing surface looks right. like, I then create what I want the new surface to look like. Smoothness, I'm looking for a smoother road. Okay, sure. And then you take that off and you actually go out to a paver or out to a milling machine, and now this allows you to do variable depth paving or milling. So instead of laying a constant amount, you lay this amount, in low spots you lay more, in high spots you lay less, so it looks like this tabletop when you're done. So it, this is this is done via software. You can take like a uh, a soft card as an example, uh, and, and slip it from one device into another, and it will capture all of those dimensions. Okay. You, you capture all that data, yeah, and you create a new road surface which you want it to look like, so that's smoother. Just take that data and you put it into the machine. You know what, I'm thinking tax savings. Exactly right. right. I'm thinking tax savings. You can get a better finished because product. Because of having to do all of this mill and you only, like you're saying, you're covering the low spots, the high spots, and determining a relatively smooth surface. Right. Or you have to put multiple multiple layers in Certainly. to try and get smoothness. Right. Now I can right. go through and do that in 
a lot fewer passes. Yeah, right, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Well, it's interesting. Interesting new products. Good time for you at TopCon to, to be working in this industry. Very with much. With all of these new uh, technical devices coming up. I think every DOT is looking for a way to get more out of the oh, same amount of money. Not? Are they not? Particularly, yeah. you know, with your new dozer control uh, app and, and this uh, processing thing. It's great. I thank you for stopping by. Murray Lodge, who's a Senior Vice President of Construction for TopCon. Right here, World of Concrete 2016.